Welcome. This is a three liter diesel common rail. And I've had endless uh, starting problems. Cranking, not starting. And no one on earth, no mechanic on earth can tell me what's the problem. So all the mechanics are telling me no, I need to replace this thing. This is the little fuel pump, the manual fuel, fuel pump. I've replaced that three times. I've replaced the filter, how many times? I've replaced the air filter, it's not the air filter. Everyone was telling me no, it could possibly be your injectors. I've replaced the injectors. Replaced the injectors, the vehicle is still um, cranking but not starting. Then they tell me no, it's your fuel, it's your pressure sensor. I've replaced the pressure sensor, it's not the pressure sensor. Then they tell me no, it's your crank sensor. The crank sensor is down there on the gearbox. Still doesn't, still cranks, doesn't start. Amazing. No sir, it must be your ECU. I've taken the ECU to two different places and um, both have tested my ECU and told me that no sir, your ECU sir is 100% perfect sir. We don't know what's the problem sir. Turns out that on the rail, this is my replacement rail, uh, this is the original rail that was on my vehicle and it was my rail that was giving me problems and as you can see here is the four ports that go to your injectors and then the last port which sits at the back here and there's a little rubber hose that connects it this port is called your your pressure relief valve so what this basically does is that if the pressure is too high in the rail instead of blowing your injectors or blowing your pipes or anything like that it will relieve the pressure by feeding the diesel back to the tank this pressure relief valve when cranking your vehicle you need 340 bars of pressure inside the rail so what was happening is that this is a mechanical relief valve there's a spring inside here and a little plug or something and it's been over time now it's been failing so now the vehicle wasn't getting the 340 bars of pressure that it needed to activate the injector because the injector has a solenoid but it still needs 340 bars on cranking to activate the injectors so you take the little rubber hose off and on that and then you'll you'll see the little uh, basically brass pipe or copper pipe and if any diesel is coming out of here on crank, you then know that this has basically failed. Therefore, the vehicle is not getting the correct, it's not getting the 340 bars of pressure that it needs to activate the, the injector, to pulse the injector. So before you go and replace everything like I have under the sun and go and visit every mechanic that doesn't know what he's doing, just check and see if any diesel is coming out here. If this has helped you, please leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Um, don't forget to like and follow, please. Uh, I would really appreciate that. Um, and yeah, I've got other nice, um, interesting content on my channel about 4 by 4 and traveling and wildlife and photography and that type of stuff. But I thought I'd just share you, with you this knowledge because this has been for a year and a half driven me insane and cost me thousands and thousands and a, simply all I needed to do was replace the rail which I replaced with a aftermarket part because this vehicle happens to be a 2008 model and right up to the uh, 2011 model they're all using the same the same engine the same rail from the 2012 model apparently there's a they've put a sensor in here uh, to let you know if there's a low pressure but before that it wouldn't tell you that there's not enough pressure to activate the injectors therefore um, all these mechanics 
what they do is they take the they take the diagnostics machine they plug it in and then they tell you but there's no fault sir we don't know why your vehicle doesn't start sir and i'm so tired of hearing that we don't know sir everything is right sir but we got no idea sir yeah anyways i digress so problem solved the rail just check diesel coming out fuel coming out on crank that's your problem guys please do me that favor hit a thumbs up um, make this video really pop up and help other people um, with this cranking and um, no starting problems have a blessed day and uh, keep safe and send my love to the family love you guys bye